Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Lady Survival here. Today we're going to be doing a makeup look, get ready with me, and I'm probably going to pick an outfit with you guys as well. Let's get into doing my makeup. I don't have anything on at all yet today. It's like 2 p.m. so I have had a lazy morning. I got up at like 10. Um, today was actually the first day that I um, I used my coffee maker. I did the thing where you can like schedule it to like just brew the coffee automatically in the morning. So I went to bed and had it set to brew coffee at 10 in the morning. I've never done that because I never knew how to do it. And it was awesome waking up to coffee just ready to go. Then we had French toast for breakfast. I played some World of Warcraft. I went and did all the quests in um, like on Retail WoW and Dragonflight to I guess welcome the new world tree onto Azeroth. Um, if you guys don't play WoW, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but there's a new Night Elf world tree called Amirgisil, I think is how you say it, and it's been growing in the Emerald Dream, and it's now on Azeroth, so I got to do all the little quests, and there was like little cutscenes with Ysera and Taranda and Alexstrasza and Marithra. Oh my god, it was so much fun. I just went ahead and started. I'm using my foundation, if it wants to focus. Uh, this is the one that I was showing in my last video, my little beauty haul. And next is our concealer. I bought two concealers and I've been using this Essence concealer and so far I'm liking it so I haven't opened this new CoverGirl one that I think I might return but I also might hold on to it because I feel like I love concealer and sometimes I don't even need foundation and I just put a little concealer on and I love how light concealers are. I feel like they match my skin tone better so I might just hold on to that one and just have like two concealers. I'm using my camera again as a viewfinder but I also do have a mirror down here. I like to use um, concealer kind of as like a base for my found or not my foundation, a base for my eyeshadow. Um, I'm using this Maybelline powder. I usually don't even really use powder. Like I, I think I heard Eerie Baby, who's a YouTuber and Instagram girly, I think that Eerie Baby mentioned something about how not setting your foundation sometimes makes it like nicer. I don't really know what that was all about, but I kind of haven't been for a little while. But I felt like doing that today. So this is just Fit Me by Maybelline shade 05 Fair Loose Powder. So I just put that on top of my foundation and concealer. Hi Trinity. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild contouring palette and use the contouring shade and just kind of do some contour stuff on my face. Which to this day I have no idea what I'm doing. I still do the little sucky lip face to do it. And just put it there. I think that it does something, I don't know what, but it's got to do something. And then I go underneath, up here on the forehead, and then just whatever is left over, I just kind of put on my nose. Let's say hi to the world. My Trinity, she says, oh, she's like, please don't hold me. She says, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everyone. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Oh, I've been giving her, um some like steroid oral medication stuff that the vet gave me because she apparently has like stomatitis, gingivitis, gum disease stuff. I think that that's what it's called. And there's a chance she might have to have her teeth pulled out, which is literally so shocking. And I couldn't even believe it when they said that to me, but it doesn't seem that bad. I feel like she she's either healing or maybe it's just not as bad as the vet made it seem, but the vet said that she had like bright red gums, but I looked at them and they don't even, they look like barely pink. So either she's healing or they were lying or I don't know what's going on, but she seems fine. Um, we're actually going to be taking her to another vet, like a specific cat doctor vet instead of just like a normal vet to get like a second opinion and find out if she's okay or not. Cause she seems to not be in any pain and she eats her food fine. So. I'm not sure, but I've been very worried about her. Uh, we've been giving her her little medication for like two weeks now and it's almost done. But she's so sweet, my little Trinity. My little Trinity. This video just turns from like a makeup tutorial to just like me loving on my cat and talking about my cat. I guess also I'll do some highlighter. This is my little highlighter thing from my gothic beauty box and I like it. I think it's kind of like sticky, like kind of tacky. I don't really know how to explain it, but I kind of like it because it's kind of like dramatic. Like it really gives you like a nice little 
shine on your face. Just a few little spots on the nose, on the cupid's bow. And then just for fun, I have this random uh, Netflix Sabrina palette. And I know that there's like this shimmery color up in here. It's just like a shimmery kind of silver color. And I am going to put that on over top. Like I said, it's Christmas time, so let's be sparkling. And then I'm also just going to just kind of blend out that contour a little bit. The next thing that I'm going to do is my eyebrows. And recently I've just been liking to do black eyeshadow. Um, so I'm just going to be using this uh, black from my Lashy Doodle palette, which is also from the Gothic Beauty Box. But literally any black eyeshadow will work for that. And I just put it on with a angled uh, brush thing. I definitely need to pluck my eyebrows. I'm trying to make it like a thing where on Sundays I'm going to do all of my self-care stuff like making sure my nails are clipped and painted and shaving my legs and all that good stuff and like plucking my eyebrows, doing a face mask. I'm going to make that like my girl day and stick with that because sometimes I get lazy with like shaving my legs and stuff and I mean you definitely don't need to and I usually don't like in the winter especially I'm like I do not have time to shave my legs no way but for me personally I really enjoy that like kind of feminine feeling of like having smooth shaved legs so I've kind of realized like that is important to me like I don't really want to just be lazy because it makes me feel kind of like I don't know like just not groomed and not as like feminine and not as beautiful I guess which is just a personal preference thing so I'm gonna try to take a lot better care with my self-care stuff and just pampering myself in the new year trying to really channel whoever like my dream self is that I want to be like trying to channel that for next year I'm also gonna try to save up for um, hair extensions I know that I was just talking about how I feel like I don't need hair extensions because my hair is like long enough kind of but I think that if I was to pay for the actual like like the sew-in extensions that the hairstylists can do I feel like that would really make me super super happy and just having like super long like dream hair like that's what I'm kind of going for so next year 2024 is going to be like my leveling up creating my dream self and just going for it and just doing like any crazy makeup looks any outfits that I want to do and just like embracing not caring you know like I feel like sometimes I try to tone down my look and I don't want to do that anymore so we're just not we have our full face on and the eyebrows so now it is time for eyeshadow I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do like I have a general idea but it's just gonna be an evolution I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, purple all over my eye like a light purple and then I think I'm gonna do black on the outside and black on the inside and kind of have like the purple in the middle I think like kind of like a halo eye but not really I'm gonna be going into I really like this shade of purple I think it's called gum drop in my Jeffree Star jawbreaker palette there we go just scoot it a little tiny bit closer so I'm just putting that on a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna kind of put it on everywhere and try to build up that color everywhere. It's so funny. I think that every single makeup tutorial that I have on my channel is just, um, anyways, we're gonna put some purple eyeshadow on just every time. It's just like my go-to thing that I just can't get away from. It's just purple forever everything. We will do the same thing on the other side. And then I think that we'll end up putting a darker purple over top of this purple something like that now I think that I will go into this other purple down here which is bite me it's kind of like it's almost got like shimmer in it I think just kind of put that on over top Here's what we have so far, just basically a wash of purple over everything. The next thing I'm gonna do is use this like white color. So any white or light shade, light shaded eyeshadow will work. I'm just kind of utilizing this palette right now because I have it out anyways. Um, but I definitely have a ton of other whites in my other palette and any of them would work. And I'm just basically putting this on my brow bone area and also kind of like blending it into the purple. It's so funny, like every other beauty makeup YouTuber this time of year is probably making like Christmas themed like eyeshadow tutorials and here I am 
just doing a normal kind of everyday look for me, you know? The next thing I'm going to do is go into my Lashy Doodle palette again because right now this black eyeshadow is like my favorite black eyeshadow that I have. It's like the most pigmented and the most dark and I'm just going to dip into it. This is like my favorite uh, brush for black eyeshadow because it's like angled so you can do like the nice corners and stuff on your eye. Um, I'm going to go into here first. I saw there's like this goth kind of like older lady youtuber that i recently discovered and i love her videos so much like i just found her like a week or two ago and she did a makeup tutorial where she did this like where she put like the black on the inner corner and the outer corner only and i don't usually put black in my inner corner unless i'm doing like just full black eyeshadow but i feel like it's like a really unique kind of look like to have like black in your inner corner because i feel like typically you would put like a lighter shade in your inner corner. So I'm kind of going for that and leaving the middle kind of like, you know, the halo eye type effect. I'll be putting, I think like a silver kind of like glittery color in the middle. I think I'm trying to kind of, not really, it's gonna be different, but the makeup look that I had in my last video that I just posted of all of like my beauty stuff that I bought recently, like my beauty haul, I'm kind of trying to do similar to that because I like how it turned out, but I don't even remember what I did to like do it. So we're just gonna see what happens. And we'll just do the same on the other eye. Alright, so here's what we have so far. I feel like it doesn't really look like we're going there yet, but it's going to be a process that we're going to just kind of build up and it should look good at the end. I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some silver, um, like this one, and maybe a little bit of this one. This one's kind of like an actual like glitter, and then this one's just like a shimmery silver kind of color. And I'm just going to dip into it with my finger. You can see how like pretty and like sheer, like it's kind of like a sheen, I guess. And I'm just going to put that kind of on top of like the purple, but kind of like blending it into the black a little bit. And I feel like it just makes it look like, I don't know, like a silvery kind of purple color, kind of taking it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. And then on the other eye. I accidentally dipped into the black and didn't even notice, my bad. I'm just gonna roll with it. And now, I think just for fun, I don't really know why, but I'm gonna go back into that uh, purple shade and this time use it on my finger and kind of put some over top just to kind of like bring the purple back a little bit more again. Okay, all right, I think that that's good so far. I was debating, I'm like not sure. It's like, do I wanna do red underneath or do I just wanna do purple and I'm really not sure what I want to do because I'm kind of really liking this sort of like silvery look so I think I might actually just go for that. So we're just gonna replicate basically what's on the top onto the bottom so I'm gonna start by going into this uh, gumdrop shade and I'm just using that big fluffy brush again. Uh, I'm just going to switch to a smaller brush so I can get it more kind of precise and built up. And then we'll also go into this Bite Me shade down here and put that on top as well. Then we're going to go back into the black from the Lashy Doodle palette and just kind of put some on the outer corner. And then I'm also just gonna kind of pull some onto the inner corner, kind of. Okay, and then also just kind of re-darken up the black like we're kind of going for like a smoked out kind of like purple black and silver kind of vibe and I'm just gonna use my pinky and go into that uh, shimmery silver color just stick that on here Thanks. 
Cell. Kind of going for the the glitter tears, I guess. Why not? Let's just commit. I know. I kind of did this in my last video too. I actually used a brush though and kind of had like these little like pointy bits going up. So I'm kind of replicating that, but this time just a little bit like thicker ish like that. See how it's kind of like there's like a line going down. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. This is another one that I mentioned in my last video. Um, it's just a little uh, retractable uh, eye pencil kind of thing. I'm just going to put this one onto my waterline. I've been like really loving. Ooh, that finger is like dirty as hell. Look at that eyeshadow that I almost put on. I'm just going to use my mirror down here. Just kind of pull it down a little bit. I've been really loving, I've done this like every day for the last like week now since I've got it and I just love it. Like I feel like it's been so long since I've lined my waterline and I think it's so cute. Next I'm going to use my favorite eyeliner which is this uh, Essence 24 Ever Ink Liner and this is a belt tip on it and I just absolutely love it so much. See I know the eyeliner is one that you guys probably like to know how I do. Okay, so, oops, might have gone up a little high, but I think that that's fine. We'll just commit. And then I like to pull it back, like so. So there's the line. We kind of had to, I kind of had to pull it down a little lower, but that's okay. I always just roll with whatever happens with my makeup. This part is always hard to show, but we're going to go in the inner corner. Okay, so we got kind of like a long little line there, and then just pull it back this way, kind of connect it down. Oop, my camera went kind of dark. Now we'll do the other eye and hopefully try to replicate it. This is like never ever ever perfect, but it's okay. All right, so we start with our kind of straight line. Just kind of pull it back and I kind of like close my eye while I do it. And then the inner corner again. I'm trying to not block you guys, but I'm also trying to see what I'm doing. It kind of goes straight out and then pull it this way. I would say that that's everything for the uh, eyeshadow and the eyeliner and the next thing is our mascara and this is another one that I mentioned in my video. Um, <laughs> just dropped like a million things. Um, so this mascara is my new one and I haven't really used this specific um, one, like the pink one from Essence. So I've only been using this for a couple days. So far I like it. I like all of the Essence mascaras. So yeah, it's good. Give it a try. Um, I usually do like a lot of coats of mascara and I just kind of like I don't know, I just kind of like wiggle it in and kind of keep going from like the outer to the middle to the inner and kind of just like keep doing that and I'll usually like blink, you know, kind of so that it like pushes my eyelashes into it. On the bottom, kind of the same thing, I kind of just like focus on the outer, the middle, and the inner. And sometimes, yeah, I do use like the tip and then kind of like brush it out. This part is obviously a process, so I think I'll just zoom through it because it's really, really boring. So I think that I now have the eyes done. I feel like I really like how it turned out. Like I feel like it looks very like frosty purple kind of, but like dark and smoky also. Okay, let's just 
add a little bit more purple, just whatever's left on my brush here. I don't know why, but let's just do that. So we are nearly there. We just have to put on a lipstick next. So I got these two new lipsticks um, from Ulta and I already tried this one on and I was wearing it in my last video, although I did add some other stuff on top of it, so it wasn't just this. But for the most part, you guys have seen me wearing this, but I have not shown you yet the red lipstick that I got, which is called Sizzlin' is the color name, and I've tried this one other day, but I didn't like take any pictures or anything, so I've personally tried it, but you guys haven't seen it yet, so let's put this one on. I think that that'll be fun. That'll like kind of make it Christmassy. I know I was talking about how this isn't a Christmas look, but... I guess that we can say that it kind of ish is as like an alternative Christmas look sort of. Also another thing that I like to do is use my foundation brush and just kind of pat it on just so then we're kind of starting with like a more neutral base. But this lipstick I've actually never tried like this specific NYX lingerie XXL and I feel like it's very like when you first put it on it feels like a lip gloss almost like it's very like sticky and wet and then it dries down and then it's like so dry and like so matte and I just really really love it. Let's go ahead and we're gonna start in the middle like that. And then I like to rub it just so that it's already kind of everywhere and then I can just fix it. All right, so we got the lipstick on. I feel like it's so like bold. Like I'm not really used to wearing like red, like bright lipsticks yet, but when it dries down, I feel like it's so, so, so pretty. Um, I'm still adjusting to it. Sometimes when I look at it, I'm like, whoa, that's way too intense. But once I flip my lip rings back up and put in my hair extensions and it's a whole look, it'll look really, really good. Um, I also just realized there's a little bit of foundation not blended. So now just a few final touches. I wanted to just kind of blend this black and kind of blend this. Just make sure that everything's actually like smooth and nice. I think I'm also gonna go into this actual glitter, which I didn't go into yet. I'm gonna put a little bit of that onto here. I would say the makeup look is now complete. So now I want to get more cute. I have my hair extensions. This thing is so dry and so old but we're just rolling with it this is the one that i think i want to dye um like the plum color that's in my hair it's in there somewhere i feel like if i dye this like that pinky plum color and then have that throughout the ends it will be really really cute i want to straighten my hair just a little tiny bit because it's just a little weird in a couple spots that also means that we'll get the chance to use my uh heat spray i haven't even sprayed it yet so i have to get it there we go, that nice mist. I am using my like brush hair straightener, which is really, really awesome and super easy to use, uh, especially when I just kind of want to do it super quick and just kind of like hit like large surface areas really quick. I don't even really need it to be like pin straight or anything. I'm just kind of trying to take out the majority of like the waviness because it'll look better with my uh, hair extensions like that. I love how easy the brush hair straightener is to use. I feel like it really gets like every strand super easily. Just get the back section real quick too. All right, and then now we're just gonna section my hair. I just go about like kind of in the middle-ish area and it's not like perfect it's just like one little set of clip-ins so you can see it's like not really like blended over here but I don't care it's just for the illusion and the vibe of longer hair 
which makes me feel good. I already went ahead and kind of picked out the outfit that I'm gonna wear today. I feel like I wear this top so much. Like I've worn it in a bunch of my Instagram pics and I've definitely worn it on YouTube a few times. I know that you guys have probably seen this a bunch, but I thought that it would be cute because there's red and then it will match the red lipstick. And then for my bottoms, I'm just gonna wear these Killstar uh, Wednesday Adams uh, leggings, which I have been so obsessed with these ever since I got them. All right, so now I've got the full outfit on and I definitely feel like we're there now it feels like myself it's like there's a certain point once like everything's on the makeup the hair the outfit I just feel like I transition and I'm like there's lady survival here is the outfit at least the top part of it I also added on this choker this is like my favorite and my most worn choker it's literally like falling apart because I've worn it so much and I think I've had it for like eight years but yeah and then here's kind of the bottom part of the outfit and I put on these little I guess Ugg boots but they're like from Walmart so they were ten dollars and I just feel like they're so comfy back all the way up Do -do -do. yeah I know that a lot of people like make fun of like Uggs and stuff and I don't really like care about Uggs as a brand or anything but just in terms of like they're so comfy and so easy to just like throw on real quick and it's kind of like slippers but you can wear them outside. So I've been wearing these a lot. So that is the full outfit and the full makeup look and my husband and I are going to go on a little walk. So I'll probably put on a hoodie. I don't know which one. This one I had right there so I'll probably just wear this hoodie which is a Killstar hoodie and I've had it for a long time from one of my first Killstar videos. Uh, this will probably be the outfit for going on a walk. It's like bat wing arms. It's pretty cool and it says, so goth, I'm dead on the back. So that's iconic. And knowing me, I will probably wear the hood also because that's cool. So I went ahead and took off the hoodie because I don't need it yet. So this is, I guess, the final look. I feel like it turned out really cute. Like, it's just kind of like shimmery, purpley, smoky uh, eye makeup look and then the red lips. I still feel like I'm adjusting to. I love it, but I hate it. I feel like it's so vibrant. I just feel like I'm so used to wearing my pastel purple lipstick, but I'm really liking this because it's giving me kind of a vampire uh, aesthetic kind of vibe, which is why I thought this top would work really good with it too. I hope you guys have a lovely Christmas, a lovely New Year's. I hope you get lots of gifts. Um, feel free to comment down below. Tell me what you got, what you did or anything because I'm sure that some of you will be watching this after Christmas time and I just love to know how it went for you. Also follow me on Instagram and all of my other socials that are linked down below. And if you liked this video, consider liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I'm gonna go now so I hope that you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!